hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i will show you that uh, how to create a dynamic range for pivot table right so this is my test sample so here you can see that a date product sales and region so basically what happened that whenever we create a pivot table suppose we uh, increase or decrease the range if we have a static values then it will not just capture the entire uh, data set but if you will just dynamically just change the range then it will pick the uh, data according to the data um, whether it is increasing or decreasing or according to it it's aut automatically picks uh, pick the data and just uh, visualize the data you can see the data in the pivot table so i will show you in this particular example how you can just dynamically change the values or you can create the dynamic range for the pivot table so this is my data i will go to the insert go to the pivot table and i'm not going to create any other uh, tab for this i'm just going to use this uh, this worksheet active worksheet for this pivot table i will click on the existing worksheet and uh, i will select the location this is my location in j3 i want to create the pivot table right and in row level i will take the region this is the region east north south and west and in uh, value part i will take the sales so here you can see that is region we have 1290 sales north 1680 south 2680 and west 2860 totally 6510 if we want to check the range we can go to the analyze tab then the change source data and click if you will click ok here then you can see this range this range represented that this much of data is selected right now it is selected a1 to d18 okay suppose i will copy this and paste it here again and i will change the value to 500 and i will refresh it then you can see nothing is changing everything is same 650 and because it is not changing because the range is static right and if you want to just verify it click here you can see that it is not picking this data so how can we just dynamically create a function which automatically pick the data whether it is increasing or decreasing so in this particular uh, video i will show you that how can you just just achieve this okay so you need to type here offset function so it is asking for the reference so it is my reference cell a1 is my reference because my data start from here i will freeze it rule by pressing f4 then it is asking me a rows row will be zero because here we have multiple rows right so we cannot take give a reference to like one or two rows something like that and similar manner i can just column i will give it a zero i will type zero here it both should be zero now it is asking me the height so how can we just get the height of this particular column so we simply need to use the count a function and you can select the entire column and you can press f4 it will automatically freeze the this uh, entire column a to a then press comma then you can see that width part is highlighting over here again you need to use the count a function and you can just select this entire column now you can see that one 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 you can see that here we have the one one option right it means that it is selecting the entire uh, this column and it will count a function will return the number over here then you can just close the function and if you want to see and you can also freeze it and if you manual uh, manually you want to verify it so you can just select this count a function and select this part and press f9 you can see that we have a total 19 rows so it is giving us a 19 similar manner if you will select this count a function and press f9 then you can see that it is just returning a 4 right so if you have a formula then you can by pressing f9 you can just check the function then i will press enter now you can see that it is giving us an error right i will f function f2 and then press f9 okay let me just change it again okay because in while editing mode i just uh, i was testing that is why it is showing 19 so let me just reapply this function one again i will use the offset function reference would be this one i will freeze this by pressing f4 
then comma my row would be zero column would be zero height would be like county i will select entire this a column and i will freeze this f by pressing f4 then comma my width will be i will use the county function again i will select this entire column close it and i will i will use f4 function in order to freeze it and i will close this function press enter now you can see that we have the value value we are getting this uh, error message but don't worry about it just copy the entire function as you can see that it, this part is also highlighting right you can copy this entire function go to the formula and i have already created one range let me delete it and i have already copied this formula i will go to the formula then go to the define name i will give it a name like my range so which for the formula i have already copied it is in my clipboard i will paste it here and press ok that's all you will have to do and you can delete this function as well okay so if you will go to the formula tab and go to the name manager then you can see this function over here and if you will just click here then you can see that this entire range it is speaking okay so we need to the name which we have given in the name manager the name of that range is my range i need to just utilize it into my pivot table range click on the pivot table go to the analyze tab then chain data source click chain data source right now you can see that it is a hard coded sheet 3 a1 2 d18 that is why it is picking the selected rows i will delete it and now press f3 once you will press f3 so whatever the naming range which you have created in formula it will populate over here you can select you can you know that i have just named it my range just select it okay then you can press okay now you can see that the the last value which i have given like 500 so now the value is automatically changed i will again copy it and i will paste it here i will change it to 100 1000 now you can see that it is 7010 and i am adding it to the north region so north region we have a 2180 and i will press ok go back here and refresh it now you can see that it is showing the 3180 if i'll just go in analyze tab and i will select the range now you can see that it is automatically picking the entire range right and let me copy the in this range and paste it over here let's see how it react like now so right now my current value is 8010 let me go here refresh it now you can see that it is 13370 i will go back here and i will see in the data source so data source name is my range and it is picking the entire rows okay let me delete few rows from here okay i have deleted this much of rows right but my data is showing like this 13370 i will go back here i will refresh it now you can see that it is 4900 i will again go to the analyze tab and i will check that i will verify that my range it is picking the correct range whether i will deleting the rows whether i am adding the rows but my dynamic function which i have created using the offset function it is automatically picking that okay so this function is uh, stored here okay so you just need to understand this function i'm just speaking copying and pasting over here because it is a name range that is why it is showing this error right However, if you use it in a pivot table, it will just uh, dynamically change the data and and you can just refresh the data, uh, pivot table automatically. It will reflect. Well. I hope you would like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.